Well, the Democratic race isn't as close as you might think it is, and it certainly isn't as close as Bernie Sanders is making it seem. Here's what he told a crowd in California this week. As of today, we have won over 9 million votes. And almost 46% of all of the pledge delegates, the real delegates that were voted on by the people. It's not that any of what Sanders is saying is wrong. He's just not telling the whole story. Hillary Clinton is winning by every single metric there is. She's won more states, 24 to 20. She's ahead by more than 3 million in the popular votes, if you want to count those. She's winning among pledge delegates and, of course, superdelegates. And then, of course, that means overall delegates. But Sanders is, in some ways, winning the perception primary because he's won more Tuesdays. Here's a big part of why. There have been 20 days so far this year with Democratic contests. On nine of those days, Sanders won more contests than Clinton. On nine of those days, Clinton won more contests than Sanders. And on two of those days, they split the contests evenly. He won Michigan the night she won Mississippi. And this week, she won Kentucky while he won Oregon. So bottom line, they're tied on the number of election days that were, quote, good days for each of them. But again, that doesn't tell the whole story because those days are not equal. On the nine Tuesdays, essentially, some of them were Saturdays, but on the nine primary election days that Sanders won more contests than Clinton, he won a total of 383 delegates. On the nine days that Clinton won more contests than Sanders, she won a total of 1,362 delegates, more than three times what he won on his winning nights. Another reason it could seem that Sanders is winning bigger than he actually is, well, Clinton's biggest wins, the delegate halls that effectively put this contest out of reach for Sanders way back in March, they were early poll closing calls on dates with multiple primaries. So they didn't get as much attention at the time. So despite how it may seem, and despite how Sanders is trying to make it seem, that the Clinton-Sanders race is sort of a ping pong deal, well, it really isn't that close. Certainly not as close as it was in 2008 between Senators Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. I went all the way to the end against then-Senator Obama. I won nine out of the last 12 contests. Back in 08, I won Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia. Uh, so I know the intense feelings that uh, arise, particularly among your supporters, as you go toward the end. You know what? It was really close, much closer, much closer than it is between me and Senator Sanders right now. Back then, after the primary season ended, Obama led Clinton by about 120 pledge delegates. Clinton's current pledge delegate lead over Sanders is more than twice that amount, making this the second closest Democratic contest, though, since 1980. And what's more, Obama and Clinton largely split the Democratic superdelegates in 2008. On the Super Tuesday of the 2008 Democratic race, Clinton enjoyed a lead of about 1,000 superdelegates, 100 superdelegates, excuse me, over Obama. But that superdelegate advantage began to shrink after Obama held a sustained advantage in pledged delegates over time. And of course, Obama eventually overtook her in superdelegates by the end of the primary season. By contrast, this time around, as we said, Clinton is the candidate with the pledged delegate lead and her superdelegate edge has widened as the contest has gone on. It hasn't narrowed. And Clinton has to win just 9% of remaining delegates to reach the magic number of 2383. Sanders must win 91% of those remaining delegates to hit that uh, number. And here's another important note. Since they were established in 1984 as a way to give Democratic Party leaders, quote unquote, more of a say in the primary process, these superdelegates have never changed the outcome of a pledged delegate primary season. But despite all that, Bernie Sanders is willing apparently to take on Hillary Clinton in the home stretch and even hit her a little bit harder than maybe the Clinton campaign wants. So these next few weeks could be some of the more bitter exchanges in the Democratic race. And while they may impact the outcome in November, they're not going to change the winner at the convention in Philadelphia. And Hillary Clinton will be my exclusive guest this Sunday on Meet the Press.